here we are at one of the most difficult circuits on the racing calendar. Welcome to Monaco for today's Formula One qualifying. And the most difficult circuit it is. Rain is in the wet. How cool is that? Not really. Monaco, in my opinion, is the worst. Uh, my worst circuit. Not the worst circuit. It's actually pretty. It's actually a really cool circuit. Uh, but it's my worst. Uh, as well as Australia. I don't know why. Uh, really tight here. Uh, throughout. So we have a high. Uh, down for setup here we did get our major engine upgrade which is nice as well as an aerodynamic upgrade we're not gonna be able to do anything about the uh, engine upgrade because our engines about dead this is gonna be the last race on this engine uh, especially since next week is Canada which is very engine dependent track so we're gonna want to get a good engine in there uh, this is gonna be like literally the worst thing ever I'm not gonna qualify good as you can see already I crashed out of qualifying and they're wet on that corner. There's not enough experience on Monaco. A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. And that is true. I've never actually won a Monaco Grand Prix. I'm pretty sure I've done this race like eight times throughout the last three years or something like that. At least in career mode. Yeah, so 65% engine here. So my strategy, almost the same as last week actually, is that I'm in the back, right? This track is almost impossible to overtake on. I mean, just look how skinny it is. So what I'm going to do is try to get into the pits early. And so my, my whole idea about that is the tires last long. Uh, or at least they normally last long and so if I can just get into the pits get all the clear air in the world while all these guys are battling as you're gonna be able to sit up here uh, like it is so bad honestly it's so bad uh, to get good laps in here when it's single file so if I can get a clean track uh, that's definitely my goal so I'm gonna run a couple laps as you see I run two laps here because I'm kind of getting slowed down by Soraka like I, I'm losing a lot of time uh, basically and so here I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the pits uh, I went in at P7 or P16 and obviously we're gonna come out and last uh, but yeah so for the next basically probably 10 laps I'm gonna do the fastest laps I can and uh, it is actually decent uh, I was about like 17 seconds behind after taking my pit stop because that's you know how long we're supposed to be I was gaining three to four seconds a lap, so this pit stop strategy, as long as I can keep it up, I'm gonna come out in like P10, and then it's gonna be hard for them to overtake me. Uh, so as long as I can do that, I honestly think we are good. I just gotta be safe with the fuel, be good with the tires. The tires like to overheat here, uh, but I do have to push though. Yeah, so 15 seconds behind, like I've already gained a lot of time on uh, Ericsson and stuff. Uh, so. Honestly, like, it's it's gonna be an interesting race. It was definitely a boring race, just driving by yourself for 17 seconds. Uh, definitely not the uh, most fun thing here. Uh, but unfortunately, as you'll see, this episode is very short because things happen at the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, everybody else is on that right side there. You can still see it's single file pretty much, especially this little group up here. Uh, they're all single file too, there's like five of them. Uh, because they can't get past each other and the person in front slows down and uh, you know they slow down for this corner they slow down for the next corner it's not it's it's so easy to just get messed up on this track and so you just really have to be careful with it engine's still really really bad you just gotta get through this race here uh, not gonna be easy to get through it as we'll be able to tell fast forwarding here because I uh, I mean I did this for pretty much all the way into the end, or at least the end of the video, as you'll see. Uh, and here comes the moment of truth, the uh, greatest part of the video here. We are going to... DNF.